after you done met my dad, promise him the world of uh, how great you gonna treat me, how great you are, how genuine you are. <laughs> Come put the stuff up. Down. Come to find out, this Negro got three kids. Three hey, kids. Hey, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog. So we just left um, Papa's Burgers. I'm giving Layla a bath. She's just playing in the bath with her little balls. But um, yeah, we've been there, I think, twice before. And normally they burgers be good, but I don't know, for some reason, mine just ain't taste right. Babe, he was enjoying his burger. Lil, you like your hot dog? She had the hot dog with the um, chili and cheese on there. She likes hers. I was like, uh-uh, my burger tastes like rat poison. <laughs> like, I, I ain't never had no rat poison, but if I can imagine what rat poison tastes like, dad tastes like that. I'm like, what is going on? I took the lettuce off. I'm like, maybe it's the lettuce that I'm not liking. Excuse me, I took that off. Still was tasting funny. Bit the burger, still tasting funny. I let him buy it, of course. If nothing wrong with his food, everything good. I was like, oh no, nah, I gotta order me some else. So when the guy came back to the table, but whatever, it went, it went good. It wasn't given. So he came back. I was like, uh, I'm gonna have to switch this out for some chicken tenders or something. They brought me um the chicken tenders. Oh, that was so good. That was like. Cajun style seasoning. They almost put me in the mind of, well, I guess they probably all in the same family because it's called Papa's Burgers, but I don't know if y'all have it in y'all state, but Papa, um, Papa Do's. We have Papa Do's. It's like seafood, like Creole kind of. And then we have uh, Papa Cito's. It's like Mexican food. And then we have uh, Papa's Barbecue. So I'm pretty sure they probably like all in the same family, but those tenders reminded me of the Papa Seafood. Cause like we um get that chef salad and I get the chicken tenders. Ooh, that'd be so good. That's exactly what it tasted like. It was delicious. And then they gave us um they took the burger off our meal. They gave us um free shakes if we wanted one. So I had a strawberry shake. I normally don't even indulge in any desserts. Once I eat, I be full. But yeah, I didn't even drink much of that. I probably had like four or five sips. But it was pretty good though. But yeah, we just went. <laughs> Had a little outing today. I didn't record earlier. We went to Best Buy, then we went to Target to get a few things. Pick up like some little snacks, little candies, and body wash and soaps and stuff like that. You know, little household stuff that we need. But anyways, we're not gonna be doing too much today because it's already the end of the day. It's like seven something, almost eight o'clock. And I actually just got off work this morning. I really haven't even been asleep. But my nails are horrible, honey. Hi, Robo. I need a refill. Sub it. Probably not even a refill. These need to just come off. And I need to get something else. But I don't know. I'm getting a lot of compliments on these pinks. But, um, I don't know what color I'm going to get. Probably off white or something. May I help you? You need something? Then when we went to Target, babe got a, um, what you call it? What you call it? Nerf gun? And child, so him and Aaliyah been in the belt since he got it. I should have recorded. That was so funny. Anyways, I'm finished getting her bath, and maybe I'll pick y'all back up tonight. Maybe I'll just pick y'all up tomorrow. Right, I just got out the shower. Got me some red wine. Waiting on babe. He taking a shower. I don't really like that wine. It's kind of like a bitter taste. Um, I think this is my first time getting that one. This is a Cabernet. This is the one. It's very bitter. Um, what's the percentage on here? It's a lot. It's 12. 12.5. So yeah, it's pretty, you know. I want to see how that I didn't put my um band on when I was taking a shower you know this thing loosens up the glue so I probably should have put my band on but I didn't I'm just trying to see like yeah y'all getting this skin like 
y'all are y'all seeing the skin are y'all seeing it i mean because honey yeah period hey y'all hey good morning i'm just doing a little bit of cleaning up around the house i've been up probably since hmm, early it had me early it was like six something Layla, of course, woke up crying, wanting to eat, I guess, so I fed her, and I've been up ever since, it's like 9, 15-ish, so I've just been trying to clean up around the house, surprisingly, I don't know, Layla convinced her daddy, <laughs> um, they got up this morning, well, once he got up, he, um, wants to go get his car washed, and he took Layla with him, I'm like, <laughs> yes, so what I'm about to do is I just clean up the bathroom a little bit, clean out the tub. I'm about to mop the floors real fast since she's not here. So that'll be dry by the time she comes back. And I'm going to hurry up and try to go to the store. Because I kind of want to make a lasagna. I've never made a lasagna before. Well, y'all know me and my boyfriend, we always make the Alfredo lasagna. But I never made like, you know, the regular red sauce lasagna. So I think that's what I want to do today. I got ground meat already. I took that out. So I'm going to get some. I seen on TikTok people using like Italian sausage. I don't know. I might get that. Mix it up. I think I have some pasta in there. Let me see. From the last time. That was last week. We made some um, Alfredo lasagna. So I might have some pasta left. I think, yeah. Oh, I hope I don't forget to buy like an aluminum pan. Yeah, I got plenty of lasagna pasta. I got two boxes actually. So we're good on that. So, I took the ground meat out. So I'm gonna go get some Italian sausage. I'm pretty sure I don't have any sauce. Let me check over here. Got the hot water boiling because I'm about to mop the floors real quick. I got tomato sauce, but I like to use the Prego, you know, the big jar. So I'm going to buy that. And probably some Texas toast. Let me see if that salad is any good. Might need some more salad. I think I need to buy some more onion and bell pepper. Some chopped up lettuce. I think this is kind of old. Hey y'all. Hey y'all. So we just pulled up to the nail shop. Y'all know we had to take advantage of this while Layla is gone. God. <laughs> so well, she wasn't gonna come. I, you know what these teenagers they be? I asked her, hey, you wanna go to the store? She no, nah, I'm stay home. Because they don't want to help you come shop for no groceries. They don't want to bring the groceries in the house. And then she started thinking about it. She said, oh, no, what if she do something else? She's like, I said, oh, okay. She was like, why you said it like that? Because why you said it like that? She yeah, like, she was okay. like, well, what she was thinking? Because I was like, what she finna go do? Some yeah, uh -huh, yeah. So then <laughs> next thing you know, she got her clothes. I'm like, what you doing? <laughs> My instinct was telling me, girl, get ready. She about to go somewhere. See, see how y'all do, but she's still go going to that grocery store and you still help me. Anyways, <laughs> let's go in here and get these nails done. No, we ain't going to the spa. Mama can't afford that one. <laughs> All right, y'all, we just got to the grocery store. We got our nails done. This is, it's called Ferrari Red, but it's giving very much orange, but that's okay because, I mean, we're in fall season. I'm trying to get some light in up here. Whatever, we're in fall season, then it's October, so you know, a little bit of Halloween. Um, what you got on your nails? She got like I a got like clear a pink, I guess, with some little like studs on it. Baby pink, got these nails short. For the first time, I said we basically switched nails because I normally get mine really, really short. But well, this last time I got it, probably about the same length. Um, but I normally get them like her length, but anyways. I'm about to head in this grocery store, get all my ingredients I need to make this food because I am starving. She's sagging it, honey. Look. <laughs> okay. 
I'm gonna do like a little voiceover. Say that. I need to get some Italian. I was gonna get some Italian um, sausage. And then I need some sauce. Some red sauce. <sighs> Baby, I'm looking tired and a mess. A mess, honey. Y'all remember when these used to be like five cents, ten cents, and now thirty-six cents? What happened? What happened? Oh, my bad. Go back. I don't need nothing for my water because we don't use sink water. Ugh, why would you drink sink water? That's nasty. Girl, when I was growing up, it wasn't no such thing as bottled water. Did you know that? No. We didn't have bottled water. No, it wasn't no such thing. So what y'all had? I don't even know when that became a thing. Was it a thing in high school? I don't even think so. I think maybe when I got to high It might have been late high school, maybe like 10th grade, 11th grade. We drunk it. They had these still. We drunk it out of these or we drunk sink water. It probably was safer back then. I don't know about now. But yeah, we was drunk sick. It wasn't no such thing. If you didn't, if it wasn't a thing, then how would you know? I'm cooking it now. I got these lasagna pasta. And I have to go to the store to get these aluminum fans. So let me go. Fan, pan. Let me clean these things out. I don't know if I'm going to use. I'll probably just use one. But they're so flimsy. Like, I'll probably put them in a pan up under the oven. Or maybe I should put them. I just got my onions and bell pepper going. I got the water boiling. Get ready to put my noodles in there. Let's see the length of this and the length of the pasta. So shall I lay it? No, I'm just gonna lay it down this way. Instead of um, yeah, I'm gonna lay it down. Then I'm gonna make this some Texas toast. All right, y'all, it's done. We 
ready to eat. Liz's first impression. How is it? Do them niggas need to cook some more? Probably a little bit, but it still tastes good. Damn. Yeah, it tastes good. So it's good. Mm -hmm. You lying? No. All right, let me make my plate. Look at her. I told her. No phones and iPads at the table. One of my other ones family. We is a family. So a baby ain't at the table. We ain't a complete family. So that means she can have her iPad and phone. All right. Give me some Italian seasoning. I'm seasoning. Italian dressing. Now that's the only salad dressing I eat is Italian. What you over there watching? Deadpool. Huh? Deadpool. Never heard of it. Hey, man. That's pretty good. I didn't know how that ricotta cheese was going to taste good. It's good. Anyway, I got places to be. Basic fix and oh, bad boys to get it. Mm-hmm. Pretty good. I used to do when I would eat lasagna, I would get that uh, Stouffer's brand and put it in the oven. That's pretty good, but this is better. So I never made it from scratch. This is my first time. Uh, what's she doing? Way low here, eating a lollipop. I'm gonna have to take it from me in a minute because it's supposed to get to that gun. Talk about love is blind. Spoiler alert if you ain't seen it, fast forward. But I'm well, really. Island is the popular. I still haven't watched it. I said I was gonna watch it. I don't really get a chance to watch it even. Especially dealing with that one. She don't let me be great. All she wanna watch is Miss Rachel. Then I'll put it on her iPad and she'll do something to touch it or something and it'll go to another screen and then she starts screaming and howling. So I just end up putting it on the TV. And she be watching on the big 80 inch. We be sitting up there watching Miss Rachel with her. She just run the whole house home. Hey y'all, hey, good morning. It's the next day. What I was saying yesterday, I was trying to give y'all a recap of Love is Blind, so spoiler alert if you don't want to hear about it. I be forgetting everybody's name, so I'm looking it up. Um, Hannah and Nick. I don't know what to say about them. With Nick, he still live at home with his parents, which is, baby, if I could, I would. Nothing wrong with that. Save your money. He don't got no kids, nothing like that. But um, I think he in real estate but um with hannah she seemed like more mature than him because like she said she had to she moved out you know when she was young she'd been on her own for a long time paying all her own bills so they was discussing bills and stuff like that and he was basically saying that he was still on his mom and dad car insurance they were still paying for his phone I, and so she used to, you know, paying for everything since she was 18. She'd been living on her own, paying for all her own stuff. So she was like, so when we move in together, like, they still going to be paying for your stuff? Like, how that's going to work? So I don't know. He seemed like a little bit on the childish side to me. So I don't know how that relationship going to work. Because like I said, she used to be independent, doing things on her own. And he's still basically dependent on his parents. Marissa and, how you say his name? Ramez. Child... I don't know. He, like, in the past, he already knew that she was in the military before. 
So he basically like, I don't agree with going to war. I don't agree with things that happens in the military. I think she was in the Marines or something. So I'm like, okay, but you already knew that in the past. So you connected with her. Then you end up uh, meeting her and basically you so in love with her. So it's just like, are you going to accept that or not? Because one day, you know, y'all going to have kids. This is part of her history. This is part of her life. She's not going to shut that part out and not share with her kids a part of her, her history, her life. That's something that she proud of about being in the military. So if that's something that you knew you was against. Why you even started any kind of connection with her? That should have been an automatic no. So like I said, when y'all have kids and stuff, that's something that she gonna want to share with her kids. She not ashamed or embarrassed of this. So it's just like, what is you doing? So and then her mama, when they when they met the parents, he better watch out because that mama look like she do a little bit of witchcraft. She look <laughs> very much on the dark side. So he better watch out what he do with her. And the mama don't look like she playing no games. She talking about she better get a prenup all it because I think she planning on going to law school or something. And she like, oh, ain't nobody coming in taking these coins. Like the mama don't play. And then, who else is next? Uh, Alex and Tim. Um, I like Tim. He seemed like he really sweet, really nice, really genuine. Alex, I don't know. She seemed like, like she better or something, like condescending. Like when they went to the like store and they was looking at hats and stuff, she like, you're going to buy that hat? Like, are you really going to wear that? It's just like, okay, that's something that he liked. That's his style. Like, why you got to talk down on you? I'm not really feeling her. I, I don't know. But her parents seem very, very sweet. Like, uh, he met the mom and dad. I think the dad probably had, like, a stroke or something because you can kind of tell, like, in his speech delay or whatever. But they seem like a real um, nice family. So, I really liked him, but I don't like Alex for him. I don't think mm – -mm, I just don't see that working. And then they didn't show what had happened, but – he basically mentioned like her talking to him crazy. I guess it was off camera or something. He was like, I never had anybody talk to me like that. This can't go on. So I, what I was thinking, it played out some kind of way, but they just didn't show it on camera. So I don't know about her. I don't, mm -mm, I don't really like her. I'm Taylor and Garrett. Uh, I don't really know what to say about them. Um, well, good thing with Garrett, this I guess. Little munchkin. Okay, with Taylor and Garrett. He ready to move states. So, hey, if a man, when a man knows what he wants, he gonna go to the end of the earth, literally. If he gotta move across the state, country, whatever he gotta do, and he really genuinely love you, that's what he gonna do. So, yeah, she wanna move to California. I, I can't remember what he loved, but he was like, I'm really to relocate. Like, he there for them, so. I love that for her. Hold on. Last but not least. Ashley and Tyler. Child. First of all, did y'all see Ashley daddy? I was like, that's her dad? God damn. Her dad is very, very handsome. Very nice looking. He was well put together. Had a nice suit on. I was like, damn, okay. But you can tell, like, he, that's his only child. He was basically talking to him, you know, man to man. He, how much he loved his daughter. Like, he even had tears, like, so he was telling him, you know, hey, this is my only child. This is my only daughter. Do not hurt her. You know, the things they, they do whenever they talk to the men is trying to take their daughter. So uh, Tyler was basically, you know, I got her. I'm not going to break her heart. Y'all, they had a sit down. Come to find out, this Negro got three kids. Three kids. He never told her about but according to him, they're surrogate kids. So I don't know if he was going through a rough patch in his life and he was donating sperm or what was going on. So he probably don't know them, not in their life. He just donated the sperm. But I don't care, you still got three kids. Like, why you didn't tell me about this? That's, that is major. Like, that was a major turn off. Like, I hope she don't fool his ass no more. I'm so done with Tyler. And I thought he was all right. I just thought, I don't know. I knew something was going to come out about his ass. Because he was just like, too right, too right, too perfect. I'm like, wow. And she don't have no kids. I'm like, so that's something you don't think you should have told somebody? You tell them that after you done met my dad and promised him the world. But anyways, after you done met my dad, promised him the world, 
of how great you gonna treat me, how great you are, how genuine you are. And you already knew, like, neither one of us is, is uh, with that shit. Like, we on some other stuff. Like, you already knew not to play no games with me, so you should've just, baby, bowed out gracefully and said you wasn't ready. Or really left me alone in the pause. Cause you didn't tell nobody in the pause because you knew that that was gonna get your ass eliminated. Like, nobody was gonna deal with you when they found out you had three surrogate kids. Like, how do you, baby, I'm too dumb with him. It's a no. Ooh, I hope she don't end up being with him and taking him back. Cause baby, no. You got kids and you ain't told me about, that's major. That ain't nothing to play with. I don't care if they surrogate, they ain't in your life. You don't know them, probably never met them. I don't care. The fact that you had them kids and then you told me now, so obviously you knew that it was some kind of bigger deal cause now you telling me. Child, love and blind this year, I don't know what to say. But anyways, that's my little rant on that. I think I'm about to, I know I should've did this yesterday. Went to the whole grocery store and do it. Uh, we need some breakfast food and I kinda want a breakfast pizza. Layla already, y'all it's early, early. It's like 6.30. We've been up since five. I gave her a bath early this morning. Fed her her oatmeal, greased her little scalp. So I probably take her with me to go to the store. Babe's still at work, living and asleep. So we probably just hurry up and throw something on and go to the store real quick so I can make this breakfast pizza. I'll pick y'all back up. All right, y'all, I'm back home. Y'all know it's a little chilly outside? Yeah. I had to bring Layla back in the house and put her on a long sleeve and some tights. And I was like, baby, you can't wear this little spaghetti string one piece. But anyways, I'm about to start breakfast. Y'all seen me make the breakfast pizza, huh? Yeah, I think I did a video here. This is so good. Yeah. Okay, I thought she was hurt. But, um, what I do is... I have to go buy her some more squash, of course. I don't know, I forgot when I went to the store yesterday. And then I'm taking her to my mom's house today because I gotta go to work. So I use these um, hash browns, regular pan sausage. She just um, bacon. Do y'all know this bacon like $9, $8.99? I'm like, what? And then I just use these croissants. Some people use like pizza roll, but when I tried the pizza bread, it was like really thick and just bready. I don't know. And then I make a white gravy on from scratch to put on the bottom, then I just layer it. But I'm gonna go ahead and put the bacon in the oven since it's gonna take time. Let's start cooking. Y'all, <laughs> that was like last week or something. I, sometimes I listen to the radio if I'm not listening to something on my phone in the car. Hold on, let me get a bake the bacon. Okay, so like I was saying, um, they have like a radio segment. Well, I pop the radio station is 97 now. And they have like people call in or email them. It's called, you can sit your ass down or something like that. So they're basically saying, like people are calling with different situations and they'll be like, you think they tripping about it? Are they acting crazy? Or you think what they saying, um, is a legit reason to be upset or they just need to sit their ass down like basically like child you was tripping you need to sit down and quit tripping so anyways a lady emailed in and she was like um before um marrying her husband she knew that he had a hygiene problem and he smelled or whatever and she i guess basically married him anyway she thought once they got married that things would change child she said that he bathed like once a month i said once a month it's probably enough bacon to put this in i said hold on he bathed once a month child ain't no way i'm like so she thought once they got married he was gonna start bathing so she they even had to go to counseling for this counseling for him not bathing 
so I guess um she uh ended up going to counseling or whatever and I guess it changed him a little bit. He started bathing like three times a month. A month. Like I literally bathe every day. Sometimes I would bathe two times a day. Like people are freaking disgusting. Like of course I bathe every time I get home in the morning. And then just say if I'm out for something and I leave the house and we out for the day. When I get home that night, I'm going to bathe. That's why I thank God. The rule in our house, me and my man, we don't play about that. One thing about us, like I said, we work, work nights. I work in the hospital, so you know how nasty that environment is. So our rule is we never get in the bed until we bathe. Sometimes when he get off, he might want to chill for a little bit, but he going to sit on the couch. But we never touch them sheets until we take a bath. That's our rule of thumb in our house. Like, that is freaking disgusting. So, I had, I'm um, doing the hash browns on the stove. I like to brown them a little bit on the stove before I put them in the oven because I think if you bake it just like this, it'll be like mushy like. Anyways, I had told my mama about it. <laughs> and she was in healthcare too and she um, was working. So, I don't know. Some people, well, a lot of people when they're in healthcare, they don't be playing about that nastiness and hygiene stuff. And she was like, hell no, nah, I wouldn't be with him. And she's like, how did she marry him and know him? He was nasty like that. <laughs> that was so funny, but then you know. I don't know what I could do with somebody that don't like to take baths. Like, how you don't like to take baths? That's the best feeling in the world. I just can't. So I'm like, well, basically, she needs to sit her ass down because you knew that this man did not like the babe before y'all even got married. And you still chose to marry him. And then some people talking about, uh-uh, she took them vows. She got to honor him. Thank you all. <laughs> I'm like, uh-uh, yeah, she should have never married him. And they only been married for like 60 days and she ready for a divorce. Like, it got to be that bad. I'm like... And then not only that, by being a woman, that could trickle down to a lot of stuff. It's not that, yeah, not bathing is a big deal, but especially if you sleeping with that person and they not washing their private parts and they putting that on you, like we can get bacteria infections and stuff. And then um, just say we go to family functions and you smelling. Like this can mess with our social life. This can mix, mess with my health. Like, it's a lot to that. It ain't just, you not bathing, like, no. So, nah, I, I would be getting a divorce. First of all, I want to marry him. But yeah, we'll be getting a divorce. That's a big deal to me. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Some people are just disgusting and nasty, man. Anyways, I'm just browning this a little bit. Then I'm going to put my pan sausage in here. And then I like to, I put, oh yeah, I put eggs, pan sausage, hash brown, bacon, and cheese. So I'm browning this, and then I'm gonna make my pan sockets on the stove. And then I like to uh, make my eggs, but I just make it like, I don't make it like all the way. I don't make the eggs all the way. Um, because I feel like it's gonna cook more when it's not inside the oven. So I don't make my eggs all the way, but Definitely cook your eggs because I feel like it'll be, I don't know. It just come out better if you just halfway cook them. So what do you guys plan? I'm working on Thanksgiving and Christmas. I'm like, what the hell? But that's just how my days fall. Because y'all know like I'm off every other weekend. Like two days in between. So my schedule is the same. So purposely for me to work the holidays. That's just how it's falling this year. But I am off for New Year's Eve, though. And this year, I don't plan on going out. That was so whack. Because I never go out for New Year's anyway. Because there's just be too much shit going on. But I did not enjoy. I'd rather stay at home. Make some vision boards or something with a lid. Celebrate the scary part of it, like, like that. But, um... I think I'm working on Halloween anyway. But like two days before, I'm gonna do like a Halloween movie night. I've never done that before. So we're just gonna sit up and watch scary movies. I invite my mom over. She has a popcorn machine. So we're gonna make popcorn. 
I'm gonna decorate the bar area. I already ordered like, a few little decorations. Just some little fun, light, pretty stuff. Cause first of all, Aaliyah and my she wanna have a party. But it's not gonna be a party, you know, it's just gonna be me, Aaliyah, my mom, baby. I think it will be awesome. And I got some, um, yeah, I just got a few little decorations. That's right. We're going to find some skin movies to watch. And chill. Hopefully it'll be cold. I'll probably make some chili or something. I haven't thought about what I'm going to cook. This up. But anyways, I'll pick y'all back up in the next one. Yeah. I'm going to finish cooking my breakfast pizza. I'll just show y'all a video whenever I'm done. And remember, you are beautiful. Catch y'all in the next one. Bye.